Hi, I'm Principal Don Wright. Welcome to McCorkle Middle School. McCorkle is pretty much like any other middle school in Texas. Uh, we're doing okay academically. Our football team took district last year. <laughs> Go Marmots! <laughs> and our teachers are, uh, well, truth be told, teachers here have some ethical issues. I was brought in at the beginning of the year to help provide some guidance. And even though only 1% of Texas teachers are charged with ethics violations in a year, I'm beginning to think they're all here. Mr. Dill, remember what we talked about? No hugging. Washington and his ragtag army stand on the shores of the Potomac. It's freezing. Their clothes are torn and threadbare. Hunger gnaws at their stomachs. The future looks as bleak as that December sky. But one thing keeps them going. The desire to live free. So they suck up their courage, climb into their little boats, and paddle across the icy river. Your assignment for next week is to write the lyrics to a heavy metal rock song about what happens next, the Battle of Trenton. Work on, y'all. Miss Vasquez is so cool. Yeah, I wonder what heavy metal sounds like on a flute. like it, people. Music to my ears. Lila, can you stick around for a second? Just keep practicing. Look at that sheet work. Keep on working those scales. We'll catch you later. Lila, I just want to say how impressed I am with your playing lately. You've really been making an effort to improve, and it, it really shows. Oh, thank you. I, I'd say that you're becoming one of the most talented flute players I've worked with. Wow, really? Thank you. I'm very, very impressed with you. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to the UIL competition on Saturday. Me too. I'm just a little nervous. No, no, no. Uh, don't be nervous. You can sit with me on the ride over. I'll, I'll help you settle those butterflies in your stomach, right? OK, thanks. Yeah. OK. I've always liked Mr. Richmond. He's really nice, and he's always encouraged me. Jenna thinks he has a crush on me, but that's ridiculous. I mean, he's married. Lila is a great girl, a real talent. She's just got so much potential. I don't know if Lila sees it, but Mr. Ridgemont is definitely coming on to her. <laughs> Such a cool bike. Thanks. Could I get a ride home? I miss the bus. I don't live far. All right, get on. Here, put this on. You're going to have to hold on tighter than that.
I would say the biggest problem we have at McCorkle in terms of ethics violations has to do with boundaries, that line between teacher and student that's designed to uh, maintain a professional and a respectful relationship. Now some teachers knowingly cross that line, others just kind of slide across without realizing what's happening. This is from the band trip we took to South Padre Island last year. I brought my family along. Heather, where are you? I don't want to be disqualified because we're late. Well, get your tail over here now. She'll be here in two minutes. Okay, that's good. Uh, this is my second wife, Linda. Lila, <laughs> Linda. You two look alike, you kind of have the same name. It's very funny. I feel like I really got to know Mr. Richmond. You know, as a person, not just as a teacher. The part about his wife was a little personal, but I wish more of my teachers were as open and friendly as he is. Oh, and he gave me a gift. Mozart, my favorite. I thought that was sweet. Moving on to prefixes, suffixes, and word roots. Let's take a look at some uh, common prefixes. They include a, ab, b, mega, micro, bene, and mal. Then we have a special category of prefixes known as prefixes of quantity. Semi, hemi, trevor, Trevor! <laughs> Trevor! Name me two prefixes of quantity, now. Exactly, outside. Mostly I just try to get through the day without throttling one of them. They could really test you, you know? I mean, you're not supposed to touch them. So I've got to use creative ways to get their attention and provide a consequence. Like the air horn. Although occasionally some of the other teachers do complain. 